Reverse mean. In this type of question, you are not given the individual numbers, but you are given the mean and how many numbers there are. You have learned the following formula for calculating the mean. Mean equals the sum of all the numbers divided by how many numbers there are. In this video, we will use this formula simplified as mean equals total divide by count. If the mean and the count are given, we can work out the total for the data by using the formula. Total equals mean times by the count. Let us look at some examples. Example 1. The mean of the numbers shown on these cards is 6. Work out the value on the fifth card. We are given a mean of 6 and a count of 5. We can immediately work out the total for the numbers on the cards. Total equals mean times count, which is 6 times 5, which equals 30. We now know that the numbers on the cards must add up to a total of 30. 26 plus x equals 30. x equals 4. The number on the fifth card is 4. Example 2. Don delivers pint bottles of milk to two streets. For the first street of 10 houses, the mean number of bottles of milk he delivers is 3.3. .3. For the second street of six houses, the mean number of bottles he delivers is 2.5. Find the mean number of bottles of milk he delivers per household for the two streets altogether. For the first street, we have a mean of 3.3 .3 and a count of 10. We can immediately work out the total number of bottles delivered by using total equals mean times count, which is 3.3 .3 times 10 to give us a total of 33. For the second street, we have a mean of 2.5 and a count of 6. Total number of bottles delivered equals 2.5 times by 6 for a total of 15. The total number of milk bottles delivered in the two streets are 33 plus 15, which equals 48. The total number of houses in the two streets are 10 plus 6, which equals 16. To find the mean number of bottles per household, we use our formula mean equals total divide by the count. We have 48 divided by 16. The mean number of milk bottles delivered was three bottles per house. Example three. An exam was sat by three girls and a certain number of boys. The average score for all the pupils was six. The average score for the girls was eight and the average score for the boys was five. How many children were there in all? Let number of boys be Y. We will use a little table in which we have mean, count and total. For all pupils, the mean equals 6 and the count equals 3 plus y. For girls, mean equals 8 and the count equals 3. For the boys, mean equals 5 and the count equals y. We can now work out the totals for the above. For the class, total equal mean times count equals 6 times 3 plus y. You must just remember here that we times the 6 with both the 3 and the y to get 18 plus 6y. Girls, total equal 8 times 3 equals 24. Boys, total equals 5 times y equals 5y. All pupils, girls added to the boys equals 24 plus 5y. But all the pupils in the class equals 18 plus 6y. Therefore, 18 plus 6y equals 24 plus 5y. Take away 18 on both sides, 
6y equals 6 plus 5y. Take away 5y on each side, y equals 6. There were three girls and six boys. Total number of children is nine. If you are not a subscriber to our website and want to do more practice questions, please subscribe to our website at www.11plusgenie.com and get full access to all our 11 plus online resources.